cool ocean breezes, warm white sands. There's nothing better than living near the water. This is so beautiful. That's some stuff you only see on TV. So you've decided to take the plunge and make your dreams of living near the beach a reality. This and this, ours. This, mine. <laughs> yeah. And for the exact same budget, you can either live nice and small on the water. Yeah, this is so nice. A little larger, a short walk away. Ooh. Oh, wow. I like this. I want this. Or in the spacious home of your dreams. But it's 15 minutes from the beach and no ocean in sight. <gasps> this keeps getting better. I like this. They are all in the same price range. All great options. It's a lot of footballs we watch right here. And then you want to see how the Cowboys lose? Bye. Yeah. So the real question is, how close can I beach? That water is so warm. Oh, it feels amazing. I know, right? I'm Shazam. I'm Kathy. And we're looking for our dream home in Navarre Beach, Florida. I can't wait to be this close to the beach every day. Between Pensacola and Miramar Beach lies Florida's best kept secret, Navarre, Florida. This community located between tourist hotspots brings small town charm to the Emerald Coast. With its white sand beaches, nature reserves, and family atmosphere, Navarre is the perfect place to settle in and live the beach dream. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You think so? Oh, Let's yeah. do this. Let's go. So I'm active duty in the United States Air Force and I was stationed in Germany. I was over there for about three and a half years before I met my wife, Kathy. I'm Colombian, and we moved to Germany when I was six years old because my stepdad was in the military. It was a lot of fun. We got married, and then we ended up getting orders back to the States. And yeah, here we are now in Florida. AC, come here. Yeah, baby, yeah! For me, growing up in Germany, you don't see beach, you don't see the beautiful ocean. I love it when he jumps on the water. So I always did dream about it to actually one day to own a house at the beach where I can just wake up and look outside and you have the beach view. It's finally a dream. Can you imagine having a house right there? Our first home. Kathy and Shaza are headed to meet with local realtor Kelly Oglesby to go over what they're looking for in their perfect beach home. Now, what exactly are you looking to find in a home? For me, it's really important to have at least three bathrooms, two bathrooms, two separate bathrooms. Mm -hmm. We have a puppy. So do you need a fenced-in backyard for the yes. dog? Yes. Yeah. I would like to stay close to the beach the way I can just walk to the beach or run to the beach. Uh -huh. For me, the kitchen is really important because I like to cook for family, for okay. friends. All right, awesome. I like open areas. I like to be able to see everything from the living room to the kitchen. So a nice open concept floor yes. plan. Definitely. Okay. Tell me about your budget. No, we're looking to stay under 250 right? Okay. All right. If I found you something on the beach, would you be willing to sacrifice a bedroom or two if needed? Oh, yeah. Okay. For the beach. For the beach? Yeah, yeah. we can sacrifice. Okay. Well, let's get going. really a, a breath of fresh air, you know? I mean, it's awesome. I like it a lot. OK. It's beautiful. I love the beach houses out here. They look super nice. I never lived on a beach, so it's actually just like a dream just to get stationed here. Yeah. And this is something I have never imagined, like, to live actually in Florida. Like a dream every day. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm showing Kathy and Shaw's a marine manor. Got a newly renovated, updated kitchen, perfect for Kathy and her family. So I think they're really going to see the potential in this one. Welcome to Marine Manor. What do you guys think of the outside of the house? The front yard is huge. There's a lot of space out here. How close are we to the beach? You're a 15-minute drive from the beach. It's a little further than we thought. Yeah, it We're is. We're not really looking for that far away. It's a little bit further than what you were wanting, but I think once you see the backyard, you're really going to be happy with okay. it. As you go to the back, you'll see a dock that leads out to the water. Oh, that's awesome. That sounds peaceful. This house is priced at $250,000, so it's right at the top of your budget. Okay. You have three bedroom, two bath, 1,800 square feet. I'm really excited to see what you guys are going to think about this one. Let's right, do this. I can't wait. Let's I'm do excited. It. Go ahead. Oh, wow. This is nice. Cozy. I like that it's open. It has so many windows. But... I like all the natural lighting. Yeah. I also like the floor. It's crazy. This reminds me a lot of the house I grew up in, my grandmother. It smells like my grandmother. <laughs> 
Let's go. Is this good enough for you? I like it that it's open. I'm liking the area from, from here to the kitchen, to the, to the backyard. A lot of area for the dog to run around. It's got a real beach feel to it. Yeah, let's see the kitchen. My God, this kitchen. This is definitely a step up from the apartment. It's a lot of space and there's no carpet. I like this island. Yeah, it's big. I like that it has a lot of storage. It does. So does it feel like you're growing up in Germany again? Yeah. Well, I don't want to be for vacation. I want to be at the beach. <laughs> see what else we have. Yeah. This is nice. I like this one a little more. Definitely a lot better now. Is it a king size bed? If it fits a king and still got space, it's yeah. big. Yeah. Get the window right beside the bed. So if you get the it's dog nice. outside, you'll be able to watch him from the bedroom. Yeah. The only thing I really don't like is the carpet. That's exactly what I like. No. Not with the ace in the house and not with another puppy in the house. So overall, you like this room? Yeah, I give it a thumbs up. I do too. I like it. Yeah, let's see what else is good. Oh, a baby room. Okay, this definitely could be a baby's room. You can see uh, expanding our family, maybe having a baby and making, in, this, making this their room. In the future. Okay. I like the window being right there. Yeah. You know, for what we could use this room? What? For clothes and shoes. That's definitely not happening. But it's nice, I like it. That's good enough. Let's see what Let's see else. See the rest of the house is. Oh, this nice. is big. Ooh. Nice little entry here. I like the bed. The bed's big enough for the room. It is. And it fits a king size bed. Yeah. With plenty of space left, so it's definitely yeah, got space. It is. And I like that to come to the master bedroom, you need to go to that little hallway. Yeah, little so you way. have privacy. Yeah, I like that. I like the view, it's beautiful. Imagine just waking up, looking out the window, you can see the water. I like it. That is pretty cool. Let's go to the bathroom. Let's see this. I don't like it at all. Yeah, I want at least two sinks. This is way too small. But I love the view. I can see the front yard from here, and I can also see the backyard if I walk into the bedroom. I definitely love that. Let's see what the rest of the house has. I'm right there with you. I think we haven't been on that part from the house. Oh, a nice Florida room. I love this because you got the nice setup here so I can study and do homework here and still be able to see the backyard nice and open. It kind of reminds me on the winter gardens in Germany. Let's bring a little bit Germany back. I vaguely remember that, but yeah. I do know what you're talking about. But this room all together, this room is definitely a plus for me. I love this. Let's see outside. I'm so excited for outside. This is beautiful. <gasps> wow. Oh. oh, babe, this is beautiful. I like this a lot. I like this. Let's go see what's done there. Yeah, I can definitely see a lot of things to do out here, you know, to host some events, barbecue, grill. Might mm. have some friends over play football. Oh, there's a dock down there. You should yeah. check it out. Let's see what the water looks like. Oh, babe, there's a boat. It just keeps getting better. There's a fish. This would be great for fishing, I guess. Mm. That's exciting. This is definitely a game changer for this house. It's not the ocean, but it's beautiful. Hey guys, what'd you think? I like it. It's nice, right? It's, it's beautiful. very spacious. Mm. Yeah, I like the kitchen a lot. It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah. I like the uh, the Florida room. Mm -hmm. The nice open area, the natural lighting, spectacular view. Oh, y'all want to go look at some more? Yeah. Let's do All it. All right, let's go. Kathy and Shaza are driving towards the coast to check out a home that's a little less spacious. Oh, wow. Okay. It's pretty small. But it's right on the beach and offers gorgeous ocean views. This is so beautiful. That's some stuff you only see on TV. Kathy and Shaza are searching Navarre, Florida for their perfect home, which may or may not be right on the ocean. <gasps> Look at that view. It's something else, right? That's beautiful. That's a money shot. As they check out options closer to the beach, they'll have to decide if they want to sacrifice space to stay in their price range. I'm showing Kathy and Shaza summer days. This condo is located on Okaloosa Island, it's just a hair over their budget at 255, but it's right on the beach. Shaza and Kathy are gonna love the breathtaking panoramic views of the Gulf of Mexico just right outside their living room. So I know you guys were hoping to get as close to the beach as possible. Oh yes. Yes. Is this close enough for you? Definitely it is. close enough. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. It's about 800 square feet, and Ooh. it's priced at 255000 ah, That's a little smarter than what we need. It is. Once you go up in the condo, you'll see the beautiful gulf front views right outside the patio. I like that. Me too. So why don't you guys take a look and uh, let me know? All right. We're Thank ready. you so much. You're welcome. Man. That's so beautiful. It is. Did you ever imagine having a condo on the beach? Oh, wow. OK. It's pretty small. What about the cabinet colors? I will keep them. Yeah? I like the little black, little backsplash back here. Yeah, you know? it plays off with the... It definitely matches everything that's going on here. With the counter. But it's very, it's, it's very small, you know? It is. I mean, the only thing I don't like is, like, that you come right the entry door and you stay in the kitchen. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit tight. Yeah. Mm. But, I mean, to be this close to the beach, what more could we ask for? Let's keep looking. All right. Oh, this is nice. Man, it's few. <gasps> Look at that view. It's something else, right? That's beautiful. That's a money shot. Baby, I want this. You can't get any closer than this. I want Unless you're in the water. I want this. Well, we got to think about it, you know, because it's still small. Can you imagine just sitting here? I could. And you just look out there. You like the floors? The floors are beautiful. The tiles, I actually like it. I like them because they're big. It has some German style, like the marmor, the fancy marmor. Oh, like the granite? From, yeah, from Germany. OK. I don't really like it, how it switches from one kind of tile to another. Even if it's small, I feel it's small, but it's like small and comfortable. Mm -hmm. I see we got some bunk beds in here. Yeah, let's see that. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, this is pretty cool. I don't know what is this room supposed to be. But it's not it's really small. It's like a maybe like a studying room. Yeah. Oh my god, this is such a great idea. We put like two chairs, table. I yeah. think we could do we could do something with this. I really like it. And you know what I have just realized? What? Do you hear this? No, what do you hear? Exactly. It's pretty quiet. <laughs> that's right. That's I mean, my point. That's a good point. Let's do this. Wow. Yes, this is so nice. It's bigger than I thought it would be. I like it. It's really... spaceful. You can always see the ocean like this. We won't find anything closer than this. And this is the no. best thing I've seen. But we're also missing out on a backyard, a garage. I haven't even seen enough room just for my uniforms. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Where are they going to fit? I got a whole closet just for true. them. Let's see what else we got to look at. Um, It's up here. I think it's the master bathroom. OK. Um, yeah. This is pretty small. It got potential, though. And it does have some potential. Maybe we could extend the walls, you know, make it bigger. But it's not here. bad. I mean, if we can extend it a little bit more, then it got it down up for me. Yeah, but we're already 5000 over budget, so. Let's go see the balcony. Oh, that's what we got. Oh, wow. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I want to go on those balcony. This view is amazing. This is so beautiful. I can see myself hey. in here already. That what it looks like is could be fake. That's some stuff you only see on TV. And you have it live from you balcony. This is right. That's, what, what else do you want? Even if you don't want to see that water, you look over there and you have more water. It's so hard to say no to this. But we have a problem. Mm. Construction. Babe, to be honest, I could care less about the construction. <laughs> but I can't get over how beautiful this view is. It is. So, was it amazing or what? It was great. It was. I love it. I liked it a lot. Beautiful, right? Yes, I love the master bedroom. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And those tiles in the, at the living room, because they kind of remind me of Germany. So it's kind of like a little bit home. How about I you love the guys? views from the balcony. From Can't the beat balcony. those. I told you. Well, you guys want to go check out some more? Yeah, of course. Let's do that. Let's Why go. not? Kathy and Shaza have seen a spacious home with a private dock in the backyard, but it's 15 minutes from the ocean. <gasps> this keeps getting better. I like this. A condo that's just steps from the sand. Will an open concept home with a private yard six minutes from the ocean be exactly what they've been waiting for? <gasps> this is so beautiful. It's all open. This is what I'm talking about right here.
I'm showing Shaza and Kathy Easy Breezy. It's just a six minute drive from the beach. I think Shaza's really gonna love the yard. It's got all the upgraded features that Kathy was really looking for. So I can't wait to see what they think about this house. Hey guys, welcome to Easy Breezy. This house is a three bedroom, two bath, a little under 1,800 square feet. That's enough space. Inside is gonna be brand new. So it was just completed a couple months ago. You're only about six minute drive from the beach. That's awesome. So how much does this house cost? So this house is right under your budget. It's priced at $245. Okay. That's good. That's yeah. awesome. I give it some wiggle room. I'm excited to see what you guys think. So why don't you go in and take a look? All right. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. I'm ready for that. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. This is beautiful. Oh, man. It's our century way. I like this. I like that the room is open. Yes. Yeah. Space is open. Man, I like these floors. They look scratch proof. I like them. Nice. Yeah, come on. Oh, look at this bedroom. It's nice. It's big. It's a good size. I like the colors. The lighting in here is good. Through the two big windows. Uh-huh. Is that enough lighting? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, but they got construction going on out here. That's your view. You know, you'd rather see, like, a beach. Nice sand or something. Yeah, Let's go man. to the next one. What is out here? Oh, yeah. I like this. Guest bathroom? Step in there. It's a cozy feel. You know, you can handle your business. Everything's clean. I like these granite countertops. I like that little detail in the shower where you can put your shampoos oh, yeah. and stuff. I mean, it's pretty small, but I still like it. <gasps> this is so beautiful. It's all open. This is what I'm talking about right here. I can see everything from one spot in the room. That's what I, this is what I envision. That's I like crazy. The, it has like, I don't know how to call it, like kind of like different a, levels. Yeah, different levels. Yeah, it's crazy. On the ceilings. I always wanted to have my ceilings like that. It's a lot of football to me watch right here. That's, that's what I can see right now. Me laying right there. TV mounted. And then you want to see how the Cowboys lose? Bye. Yeah. The good thing is that even the dining area is big. You know, I love big dining tables. For Thanksgivings, you can all invite the whole family over. We have enough space for everybody. Nice area in between the living room, the kitchen, the dining room. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's work it out to the I kitchen, like... see what we got going on. I like this. This is so beautiful. I can it's see myself tough. get cooking. Nice. Man. And I like the lights under the cabinets, too. I like the uh, stainless steel appliances. They kind of flow with the granite countertops. They're nice and dark. What I really don't appreciate is that the cabinets are so high set up, because that's kind of a problem for short people. All right, cool. Let's see what the bedroom's about. Yeah. I like that the whole house is big. It's nice. Ooh, I like this. A lot of babies can be made in this bed. <laughs> Plenty light. So there's two windows, add just enough light in here. Yeah, I really like it, I love it. Definitely, how about the tray ceiling though? I love the ceilings, I love the walls, I love the space that is big. Yeah. This is probably one of the rooms that I don't have nothing to complain about, because it's perfect. That's what I'm talking about. But I'd like to be closer to the beach so I can see it from right here. I'm going to the bathroom. This is where it's at, right here. Oh yeah. I love this bathtub. Oh, yes. I don't do tubs, but that's nice for you. Bubble bath. That shower, though. Go in the tub. I There's a lot of space. You don't so, want me I want to see that, though. I don't get in tubs. You can buy something if you don't know so, if you fit in it. You know what I really like? His and her sinks, so you can't get my sink dirty. His and hers that stopped for you the day we got married, OK? It's ours. So this and this, ours. This, mine, because you don't need that much cabinets. Yeah. <laughs> What about the backyard? Oh, wow. Yeah, I yeah. can dig it. It feels nice and open. Yeah. Still gives you a little privacy, you know, the fence. I like them two trees. I like the white stones. That's new, I like it. Yeah, but you need to cut the grass, though. I handle that. So, what do you guys think? I like it a lot. I like that the ceilings are so high. The bathtub, mm -hmm. it's a dream. Yeah, I think I really like this one. All right, let's go. Kathy and Shaza have seen a spacious home 15 minutes from the beach, a condo that overlooks the beautiful blue waves, and an updated home six minutes from the sand. All three offer the beach lifestyle, but they can only pick one. It's difficult, it's a tough yeah. decision. But right now, let's just enjoy the view. Kathy and Shaza want the beach lifestyle full-time, but that doesn't necessarily mean living beachfront. 
having an open floor plan and an updated kitchen also factor into their wish list. With a budget of around $250,000, Navarre, Florida offers many different options for their money. It's pretty amazing. Now I know why they call it the Emerald Coast. I know, right? It's a marine manor. That's kind yeah. of far. It's a 15 minute drive to the beach. Yeah, I don't really know if we really want to make that drive every day, but the view that you have from every room was beautiful. And then that Florida room? Yeah. All that natural light? I like but, the backyard too. It leads right to that dock. Yeah. So summer days, that condo yeah. on the beach, you can't beat a view like that but no backyard. The beach is your backyard, baby. What else do you want? But I personally think it was a little bit small. The space is something we'll have to sacrifice to have a view on the beach and live on the beach. How about Easy Breezy? It's just a little ways from the beach. We said we wanted to be right on the beach, but even being that far away, we have the space we want. The master bathroom was a dream, and the things of backyard, I didn't like the privacy. But a six minute drive to the beach. I could be living with six minutes. It's difficult, it's a tough yeah. decision. But right now I will say, let's just enjoy the view. Let's take it all in. Everything that we could have thought of, we got it right here. I'm more than happy. We, we chose Easy, easy breezy. breezy. Even though we didn't get the house on the beach, everything that we could have thought of in a dream house, we got it right here. We have the big backyard. And my house is perfect. The open kitchen, the open floor plan. And the master bathroom is just a dream. It makes you feel like you're always on vacation. How about the kitchen? I just realized I'm way too short for them cabinets, but Charles bought me like some steps. Oh, okay. <laughs> This is the perfect house for entertainment. Just yeah. sitting outside while the sun shines. Congratulations on your new home. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. I hope y'all enjoy Cheers. it. Cheers. Cheers.